Hi Scorpio, welcome to your new love reading. It's timeless, so whenever you see it, it is supposed to resonate with you. I realize I'm the time frame I'm releasing it and um, I just, <laughs> sometimes I guess, I don't know the way you, YouTube's algorithms work or whatnot, but whenever you see this, it's supposed to be the right time, hopefully. Maybe you revisit it again and see that, oh yeah, or somewhere down in the months to come, shall we say. Okay, so if this is about your new love, and we'll take a look, we'll try to take a look at maybe some um, emotional attributes, maybe where you're gonna meet them, and some timing, um, maybe some obstacles that might come up with this new love interest. Some of the readings I've done, it, it looks like it's pretty stable, and it might even turn out to be like their, their true love, at least for a while. Um, you know, don't wanna jinx it by saying, oh, they're forever love, but some pretty significant um, pairings have popped up so I don't shuffle on camera um, just because I shuffle off camera it messes with the cloth and the sound so this is the best it's gonna get on camera sometimes I forget myself and do it and then it gets loud and I get complaints or the cloth catches whatnot anyway uh, this is a general reading I will clarify where it's appropriate to do so some of it's self-explanatory just because of the card or the placement or both um, check your moon rising and Venus if you want a more well-rounded picture and I think other channels also do this. I, I don't know, I haven't checked, um, but I'm sure there's pretty good readers out there with this spread also if you want more opinions. Um, and the, the cred, cred spread it, yeah, that. Credit for the spread is in the description box below. Okay. Scorpio. Bottom of the deck energy, what you might be feeling about your love life right now uh, is that you kind of feel like everything else around you is solid, but you're just not happy without finding this love. Like, where are they? Where is this person that I'm supposed to be happy with? Some of you might even be feeling a little less than a legitimate person without having a solid, steady companion in your life. Um, that could be just all you're doing is working because love situations don't work out for you. So you just kind of over involving yourself in work. All right. Eight of wands reversed, seven of pentacles upright, hierophant reversed, four of wands upright, king of wands upright. Page of Wands upright. So lots of fire here. Mm. So you could be dealing, or this person could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, so your future new love or true love could be somebody that is distance challenged. <laughs> By that I mean, um, okay, it could be somebody that has trouble with their emotions or um, that moves very slowly about things. It could also be that you're gonna meet this person on a trip and distance is gonna be an issue, okay? And communication might be slow going because of that. Seeing them might be slow going because of that. The attraction is gonna be very slow. It's not gonna be instantaneous. It's gonna be a gradual attraction. There's gonna be a lot of, probably because of this distance, there's gonna be a lot of holding back or reserving because you don't wanna invest in something that's gonna just break your heart. I mean, there's plenty of fish in the sea locally, right? Um, you're both going to be taking the time to make sure it's worth it. This person could be a Taurus. They could also be somebody that doesn't, that kind of is nomadic, that doesn't put down roots. So the travel would make sense. Somebody that doesn't, um, is not very strong in their religious background or is not a religious person. They might be spiritual, but they, it's definitely their own version of spirituality and their own um, belief system they're probably not going to be very religious or uh, connected to a faith in any way. It's going to be their own personal, just wanted to fly out, it's going to be their own personal take on what life means to them, the higher power, all of that. The obstacles that you might face, this just flew out too. Okay, we'll get to this in a minute. That you might face here is that, um, and I think it's pertinent because I was talking about this. So this might be, sorry, backtracking. This card flew out when I was talking about the hair fan. So we're, we could be looking at somebody that um, gets a lot of their, finds a lot of basis for feeling grounded and connected through friends. 
They get a lot done with the support of their friends. They get their needs met spiritually uh, through, the, through having their circle of friends that they do. Okay, this flew out when we were talking about this right here, uh, which is community, marriage, celebration, being interconnected. This person does that with their friends, but they're not, it, it's almost like they're very reserved and very, just very closed off and slow to move and make decisions. There's and closed off in the sense that they prefer to really take a practical approach to things first. It could be an earth sign, um, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus before they involve themselves with something. And that seems to be no different here with the religious aspect as far as they don't subscribe to any one religion, whether it's friends. And as far as marriage and community, they don't readily, that's not their vibe. They don't do that. If they're going to make a commitment, it's going to be on their own terms. It's not going to be through religious channels. It's not going to be um, a big to do about it. It's probably going to be a very private, sacred, um, sacred ceremony, relationship, binding, whatever you want to call it. And they're not, they, it's something that they don't feel like it's something I think in the past that has caused them a lot of frustration. Um, probably this whole, you know, being committed and the whole engagement and then getting married that probably is excruciating for them. They probably don't like a lot of public attention, friendship, connectedness, groundedness. Maybe they're extroverted with their friends, but they are not as, a, as far as a person. They take a very measured approach to things and they don't like a lot of fuss and to do about that. And that whole, you know, things being sanctioned religiously and that whole um, sort of being anchored in the community that that doesn't seem like it's worked out for them in the past for whatever reason i'm getting a real strong like dancing to the beat of their own drum vibe not doing things communally because it's almost like they don't have a lot of faith in the community but they do they might even be an activist but not they don't believe in the traditional forms of community and the the social mores like the banking institution, religious institutions, the educational institution. They definitely have their own opinions on that and their own way that they want to do things. They're very unique. They're not very conventional at all. And you, so we've got this person that's kind of reserved, right? And we've got somebody that's kind of um, very, almost suspicious of things at first. Like they just, they, they tend to, have a lot of questions and might even be cynical and skeptical and all that before they can commit and before they can align themselves. It has to be their own decision. It has to be their idea. And then we've got you over here. The advice for what, or what you can do to be ready is be large and in charge in your own life. Just have all of your ducks in a row. And I think you're going to need that because this person is going to challenge a lot of what you think and believe. And you know, Scorpios, um, Nobody does it better than Scorpio as far as the research and being prepared. Well, some might, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, you know. But Scorpio is one of the best at being prepared, at researching, and at kind of being able to combine that esoteric with the practical knowledge. So this King of Wands right here, this could be man or woman, but the energy is all about just being a natural born leader, having that confidence, having that vision and that entrepreneurial spirit and, you know, can do Cameron here, makes it happen, right? So... We've got somebody that's skeptical and questions, and then we've got you over here that is very grounded and solid in what you do and who you are, and the two are connected. It's not like, you know, you're one way at work and then you come home and you're another way. You are who you are, whether you're at work or um, at home. And usually this is about somebody that is, it's their own business or they're very um, in charge, like wherever they're at, they're they're the authority, like they're the manager or the principal or the president or the, the owner or this and that. This to me, um, I feel like this is somebody who has their own business. So you, the Scorpios that I'm reading for, you might be in a very high position at your job or you might be, ha you might even own your own business and you might be like, like a regional manager or like just, you know, you've got this, the three states that you supply something for through your business. You might have something where you've got an online service as well as, um, a brick and mortar store but you've got your own business and your own way of doing things also and I think that's what's going to be the connection I think this person has their own way of doing things and their own idea about things and you have your own business based on your beliefs and what you do and what you've researched and come to believe and you've built a business and a business model on that um, if you if you're not a business owner you're going to be aligned with a company that you work for that you believe in on a on based on principle and 
um, sort of your, your personal views about life and spirituality. Okay. Ooh, that was a mouthful there. Um, kind of just kept flooding in there. You're, how are you going to meet this person? Okay. All right. So we got a page here, page of wands. So that would suggest through something dealing with whoopsie. Okay. Those just, wow. Um, dealing with kids. This all just flew out because I was trying to, I'm just showing, I'm not going to give any weight to it, but I'm just showing you. We got the King of Pentacles here. Um, somebody who's very solid and secure. Somebody who's walked away from something. We got the Eight of Cups, Devil reversed, um, open to change. We got another King of Wands right here, entrepreneur. We've got Nine of Cups reversed, somebody in a funk, change and transformation happening and, and a bad, um, a bad match or no longer being aligned and harmonious with a partner or a choice that you've made. Just saying that all kind of flew out right now. Not giving any weight to it, just throwing it out there for you to consider. All right, and this one, just these, all right, I give up. Those two flew out. So how are you gonna meet this person? Okay, so this could be, so this is somebody that is probably, a lot of times when we see this, we think of narcissistic. Okay, in this case, you know, and that very well may be, but for the purposes of this, I don't think, I think this is someone that's trying to find their own way and they, yet they are without agency, okay? I think this is somebody that, you know, very well could be through kids, okay? Uh, something to do with kids, you know, some company that works with kids, like the, the that supports kids, a, a charity, a nonprofit, something like that. Maybe it's in a hospital in the, in the pediatric section. Maybe it's a pediatric nurse. Something to do with kids. Or it could be that this person is charting their own path. They've got a lot of ideas. They just don't have any agency. There's no way for them to enact it. You're sitting here um, sort of at the top of your game. You're kind of in control of everything as far as work and what you bring in and your vision is aligned with your work. This person might be just starting out with that. Okay. And so they, while they've got a lot of great ideas, there's not a lot happening for them going on for them, but they are passionate about it. They do believe in it. So something tells me that whatever you do is your job, that's how you're going to meet this person. It, I don't know what it is. I, I, I'm not even sure about the kid aspect here the you know, the child working with children, but there's something that you do that you've been doing for a while. And that's how you come to meet them. And they believe as you do, they're just not as far along or as established, but they really like what you have to offer or what your, and, and I had said before that who you are, you have translated that into, like it's kind of inseparable. You're the same way at work as you are at home, but more than that, you're working for a company or your business is part of who you are, what you believe in. And that's, that's how you're gonna meet this person. They're gonna be ready for that emotional connection because right here, they're kind of feeling this right over here is like really suspicious and kind of feeling like they haven't found that one piece of the puzzle. They're questioning everything. They're kind of skeptical. They don't believe in the conventional mores and the way things, you know, what you should do. They don't believe in the should. Um, while they have very connected, strong friendships, they are suspicious of society or, you know what I mean? Like they're just not, they don't go with the flow. And whatever you do is, is maybe it's unconventional maybe that's why it's your own business because there's not a place for it in the conventional words it's not like it's not a traditional business but whatever you do that's how you meet them they are not as far along as you are they're they don't have any agency yet they don't have any control over it it's more of a budding idea a belief system for it but they see what you you and what you do and they immediately align with it and they want to know you and know more about what you do and who you are all right so scorpio shovel this over here so it doesn't blow the speaker out sorry about that i could go on and on but i'd just be saying the same thing over and over again all right this is the card of taking um having distance and perspective so one of i really think this is going to be a long distance um relationship i think you're going to meet on maybe it's a business trip or something or it's going to be online, like they, they're an online customer or something that you're working with them, a vendor, something like that. And there's going to be an interest there. And this is all about, it's either physical distance and emotional detachment to get the big picture. And that's what they are all about. This right here is all about them kind of keeping their distance so they can assess, assess objectively and make sure that it's not some 
pipe dream in the sky, you know, or that it, that it is real because this is a very cautious personality here. Okay. So there's going to be something you're going to meet and distance is going to be a factor, whether it's online or whether it's physical distance. The, that's the Oracle of Visions card by Chiro Marchetti. Thank you to, I can't remember the name, but somebody pointed, finally pointed the pronunciation and whatnot out for me. So thank you for that. Chiro Marchetti, Oracle of Visions deck. This is a Whispers of Love deck. Oh, is it the Whisper? No, this is a Universal Love deck. I think. It, the, they're in the description box below. Guardian. Oh, nice. Okay. So this speaks to how this person, and probably what you do, but this speaks to how... For one thing, there's this is talking about like a divine connection here, like it's just going to be kismet when you do meet. But um, this is talking about how this is kind of destined, and when you do meet, it will be that you there's synchronicity, and you guys, you guys, you two will be acting as each other's caretaker or guardian. It's going to be. It's almost like the yin and the yang, like the two pieces of the puzzle fitting. There's going to be a fit there, and it's going to be a spiritual connection as well. Pretty powerful. So you're going to each, I mean, the simplest sense is that you're each going to be looking out for each other. But this person is going to be integral for you as far as it's not just going to be a, a romantic relationship. It might even turn into um, a a working romantic relationship. You, you'll meet them through work, and then the romance happens, and then you bring them on board in your company. They're just going to be very integral to who you are. Gosh, okay, this keeps falling out. I'm just going with it. Listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. That might be that when you first start, it could be that there's this, you're all about the business and, you know, they're cautious over here and you're just kind of viewing them as a customer, but there's that attraction. Um, but it might be that it's a while before you start to look at them in the romantic sense, because hi, if you're a business owner, you don't want to be poaching your customers for romance, you know, romance. It's not, and I think, like I said, this one's going to be skeptical and, and it's all about their mission and what they believe. And then you guys join together. And then over time, I think after working with this person or just, there's something about distance here, but, um, you're going to see that there's this compatibility and while the attraction might be slow going, there really is a meeting of spirits here. Okay. So you're going to have each other's back. It's going to be kind of, you're going to be kind of divinely brought together. I know this person might not believe in that, but there's going to be this, this meeting through business distances involved. This one's going to be slow and cautious, needing that perspective. Um, they might even be kind of a loner outside of their friends. They might just be very much under themselves and you're going to be all about the business at first, even if you do feel a connection and it's going to be a very cautious walk together because of their suspicious nature and beliefs. And because you are just on fire with your business or your company right now and your passion is over there, this love interest, it might take a while and it might involve a shift as far as listening to your heart versus your mind, because that you've got in spades, you've got this business acumen and your work ethic and what you're doing, um, down pat and you know what you're doing and you're very involved in it. So it might also be that this is slow going because you're so involved in the business that, and there's distance involved that it might take some time, you know? Okay. I could go on and on shutting up. Okay. Uh, Scorpio, I hope that helped you. Um, and I hope that I see you in the next reading. Remember this is timeless. So whenever you see this, it's supposed to resonate best. Okay. Thank you again for stopping by. Take care.